Hey, what's up, everybody? I just want to very quickly go over installing Magic Lantern onto a Canon T2i just because I had just done that, and so I thought it'd be easy to explain to people. The short of it is, is before you know getting into the downloading part, you just want to make sure your camera is you know totally charged and that your settings are completely cleared. Um, to do the clear uh, camera settings, you'd go into one of these uh, manual modes um, that are you know right there, and then you'd go into your menu. And when you go into the menu, you can scroll over a couple, and then you can hit, you know, clear your uh, camera settings. So you just have to make sure it's in that creative mode. Um, then make sure your, you know, as I said before, that your battery is totally charged. And then you're going to want to make sure your firmware is up to date. In the Magic Lantern uh, install guide, there's a link to uh, the latest Canon firmware. Mine was at 1.8. Uh, I had to download it and install 1.9. What that meant was I downloaded a uh, .fir file. So simply downloading that uh, firmware file, I take it, I put it onto a, a SD card, which I format. You know, you just click, uh, right click on that, you know, uh, file, uh, that's that, that file uh, location that says SD card, whatever the, the label is, and you right click on it, you hit format, clears everything off, you put that file that you just downloaded from Canon onto the card, you put it on your camera, and then you click onto your menu and you click your, your settings where it's the firmware, you click on the firmware, and then you just hit update, and it will update your camera to the latest version. After you've updated it to the latest version, then you're going to have downloaded these files to Magic Lantern. And as you can see, you, you download a whole bunch of different files, but in this case, we're just focusing on the one that's a 550D Canon T2i. You want to make sure you have your ex executable file, the autoexecutable.bin, and the Magic Lantern uh, core files, which, have, which has all of the uh, little screens and, and picture details and things like that. So you're just taking those three files, and then you're putting it onto your newly formatted, cleaned off SD card. Again, you probably just put on a... Uh, a, a Canon firmware for the update, you're clearing that, and now you're taking those new files, putting it on your card, and now you're going to run the same process. You're going to go in there, you're going to uh, put the camera into the firmware update part, you know, you scroll down to where it says firmware version 1.9, click on it, and actually I could even uh, show you that right now. Once you click on the uh, firmware, which as you can see right here, it says firmware version, in this case 1.09. ML version 2.3, that's got the magic lander on it, you'd click on there where you click the set button and then it would ask you to update. In this case, of course, we're not going to be updating it. So that's the short of it and then it just installs it. So it's nothing that crazy. It's just making sure that, you know, your camera's charged, you've updated the main firmware on your camera first, um, up to, in this case, at the time I'm using it, 1.9 Canon uh, firmware update. Then you're going in there, you're reformatting the card, putting on the new magic lander fire files, and then doing the same update process again. And then after you've done the update with Magic Lantern, you just have to make sure to keep those files on the on the card because Magic Lantern runs from the card. It keeps um, those images, which it uses to do the graphs, on the card itself. And that's it. It's pretty simple. So I hope that helps kind of explain it in a shorthand way. And if you have any questions, uh, I'm exploring this all myself right now. So lots of fun. We'll, we'll see what happens. Take care.